and the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. And this is just one of those verses that's so easy to just read over because we've already read about so many of the miracles of Jesus Christ up to this point. But he just doesn't stop. Like, if we were to see, and I've said this before, if we were to see one person legitimately healed today like from another man that's just walking on this earth and was able to just like, I mean, no doubt about it, no scam, no setup, no actors, you know, none of these people like in the Pentecostal churches falling down and having all this weird stuff happening and barking like dogs and having these, these guys already set up and established that, oh yeah, you're, here's your story and you're going to all of a sudden be healed. If we had none of the charlatans out there, but it, but it was really happening, you can, and it's obvious. When Jesus did it, it was obvious. And you've got guys where the entire city, the entire town, the entire village knew, hey, man, this guy's been blind since birth. Like, there's no getting around, oh, he's just saying he's blind. No, everybody knew this guy, he's blind. And Jesus shows up, boom, he's healed. Right? And just with example after example after example after example after example, just healing. And, and here, this is just one sentence, one verse. And the blind and lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. So easy to read over and ignore, but just, man, he's just continuing to do so much. Verse 15. And, and, and this underscores the attitude that the Jews had, that the Pharisees, the scribes, these wicked people that killed Jesus. Look at verse 15. And when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did. Now, what, uh, before we keep reading, what would your reaction be? If you saw someone come and literally just get healed. Like he said here, the blind and the lame. If you saw, if, 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 if Brother Tom was in service tonight, right? And for those of you who don't know Tom, Tom's blind, okay? And someone were to come in and heal his, his blindness, his eyes, and give him his sight, what would be your attitude? Just think about that. Would, would you be happy? Would you be rejoicing? Like, hey, I, that's awesome, man. Tom can see. That's amazing. Wouldn't that be like the normal response? And then, hey, praise the Lord. Praise God. Someone was able to come in and heal Tom's eyes. That's, that's a miracle. That's wonderful. That's great. Well, let's see what their reaction was to all this. Because that's exactly what was happening when Jesus is literally in the temple and healing people. Verse 15, and when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did and the children crying in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were sore displeased. It displeased them. Jesus is healing people. These kids are shouting out, Hosanna. Hosanna to the son of David. And they're like, and they, and they weren't just upset. They had sore displeased. You know, I mean, they were really bothered by this. Now, we know that these people were extremely wicked people. Okay? They were. I mean, the people that delivered up Jesus Christ to death, these false prophets, these devils, these reprobates, people that hate God, they claim to believe in Moses, they claim to believe in the law, they claim to believe the Old Testament, they didn't. Jesus said, if you believed Moses, you'd believe me. It's the same word of God that's coming to you. He's the fulfillment of the prophecy, but they didn't believe Moses, which is why they didn't believe Jesus. They rejected God. They rejected Jesus. And, and they're damned, and they're, and they're wicked for that. But I want to just apply this, though, even though we understand the main context and understanding of the passage. But do you have a bad attitude? when you see people doing a great work for God? Because we ought not to. That's right. Just like when uh, the disciples said, hey, you know, we saw someone casting out devils, but he followed not us. And Jesus, what did Jesus say to him? He said, Forbid him not. Hey, I mean, if you got someone out there doing a work for God, there's nobody out there going to be doing a work like that that can lightly say anything bad about the Son of God. Like, he's, he's doing good. Okay, Maybe he's wrong for not following with you and following Jesus, right? Like, like the disciples were right in following Jesus and they were doing things that were right and that guy that's doing that stuff probably should have followed with them. But 
he didn't, but that doesn't mean that you forbid him, right? Because he said, oh, well, we forbid him then. No, don't, don't forbid that. Don't stop. Don't be displeased at the good work that he's doing. You know, there's other church, you got other churches that, that might be doing great works. You know, we should never have a, a, a bad attitude of like, well, who do they think they are? And, you know, of, oh, well, only, only our church could be doing good things for God or only that church. You know, look, when people are doing good work for the Lord, then praise God. Even if it's a group of people that you may not line up with perfectly and say, hey, if they're doing a good work for God, then praise the Lord. That's good. Don't have a bad attitude about it. Don't be sore displeased like these guys were. These Pharisees. 